Do you remember that material design thing and wish you could have that in .NET MAUI? Or maybe you need a custom tab view, or a bottom sheet, or some blurs, or even a tree view control? Well, this control suite has all of that and more. It's free and open source. It's Uranium UI. So let's go check it out. On this channel, I talk about controls and plugins and control suite for .NET MAUI all the time. And this is one that I recently discovered. It's called Uranium UI and it's free. It's open source, so it has all the good stuff. It's available for you right now, today. It already has seen a lot of development, actually. And it's available on all the platforms that are uh, supported by .NET MAUI as well. iOS, Android, Mac OS, Windows, and even Tizen. It brings in a couple of new controls. It has like a tree view, which is pretty cool. It has a bottom sheet, um, some other things. We'll see that in a little bit. Um, but what most of you are probably also interested in is it has the material design. Optionally, if you don't want to use that, you totally can. But the material design, you might still know it from Google. Um, they still use it on their Android devices. Um, but the material design is something that we had for Xamarin. And now with this control suite, it's also coming back to all the other platforms, iOS, even Windows. Um, you can use Uranium UI to implement the material design in your application. Let's just not waste any more words and time here. Let's just go check it out on my screen. Before we dive straight into Visual Studio and the code, let's have a look at the GitHub repository right here. This is driven, maintained by one person mostly, which is called Enis. And I'm sorry, I'm not even going to try with your last name, but Enis, thank you so much for doing this and making the .NET MAUI ecosystem a better place. If you're watching this, it's open source. Please consider contributing in any way you can. Open a pull request, sponsor him for a little bit. Um, but at the very, very least, star this repository. You can do it here in the top right. Start a repository and show your support for Enos and his wonderful work. So you can find all the information here. It has this nice style and it has its very own logo, which is super cool. Um, you can see all the stats. Um, Enos has created videos as well. He has documentation. We'll go into that in a minute, uh, but he has these videos to get you started as well right here. So I'll link to that in the video description. Um, but besides all the controls and all the things in here, there's also startup templates. So you can also install templates in Visual Studio and you can do file new Uranium UI application and it will have all the NuGet packages already set up for you. Your MAUI program is already in place. I'm going to show you this from a new .NET MAUI project, so how to install it on that. Um, but you can also use the templates that are available here. So light mode, dark mode support, all the platforms for .NET MAUI are supported. Um, it has support for dialogues, for mop-ups, and the community toolkit one. Valid it has so much. I'm going to show you the basics today, how to get started with Uranium UI. But if you see something in here that you want to see in a little bit more detail, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make a follow up video on that. Okay, so let's scroll back up here a little bit. Uh, we have this GitHub uh, repository, but also we have the documentation. So we have pretty extensive documentation. It, it doesn't look right because I zoomed in a whole lot here, um, but a, a very extensive documentation on how to get started with all of this. You can see the core, the dialogues, the icons, the styling, the effects, material, migration guide. Oh my gosh, there is so much here. Um, but let's have a look at the getting started because that is kind of interesting. Um, it also explains like, hey, for the existing project, for new projects, um, you can see it, it, how to install that Uranium UI template that I just mentioned, but I'm going to show you this with a new .NET MAUI template. Um, so I'm just going to scroll back here with the existing project. It's what uh, Enis calls this. Um, but I just whipped up Visual Studio. I created a new .NET MAUI project right here. This is just a vanilla project. If I run this on my Windows machine, you'll see the new .NET 8 uh, template coming up with the race car, and it just increments with this button. So that's it, right? just a new project. Uh, and let's get started with actually what's here in this getting started guide. Um, so what you can do is .NET add package Uranium UI material. I like my um, UIs for this. So I'm just going to go to Visual Studio and I'm going to go into uh, the Solution Explorer, right click and do manage NuGet packages. So then I'm going to browse and do the name in here, uraniumui.material. If you don't want to use material, that's perfectly fine. Uh, you don't have to install the material package, but if you want to use it, just use this one. Uh, and then the um, um, just vanilla Uranium UI package will automatically be brought in as a dependency. So I'm going to install that. The latest version at this time is 2.7.3. Um, you can see it brings in a couple of things right here, which is totally fine. And 
It should be installed in a second. Now, when you have that, you want to set up a little thing in your Maui program. So let's go into the Solution Explorer again, go to your Maui program.cs, and you probably hear at, as first you, in the top, you want to add this using, right, for Uranium UI. It, IntelliSense is already helping me. And now we have to set up our builder for Use Maui app, but also we have to do Use Uranium UI. So we have that, and we also want to use material. So we also want to do use Uranium UI material. So there we go and save that, and we're all good to go. Now, by default, this is not going to trigger all kinds of things and you're done now. That's not how it works, unfortunately. Um, but let's check the documentation because it's very, very clear. Um, and you can mostly copy and paste this, which is something I like. So we've done this Maui program, use Uranium UI. Um, and what you then want to do is kind of like apply the styling so that you will have that material stuff in here. So what we can do is define um, following XML namespace. So we can do XML and S material, and you have to do this in your app.xaml. So we're going to do the styling right there. This is typically where you set up all your styling and your dictionaries. So let's go to our app.xaml, and you can see that it also ha already has this default stuff in here. We're going to add this uh, XML namespace, XML and S material, and um, also for Uranium UI, Enis set up this nice custom URL thing so that it's kind of like easy and you have all the things in one instead of separate namespaces, all kinds of XAML magic that you don't need to care about. Okay, so with this in place, we want to do a couple of things. You can do a couple of things. You have a lot of flexibility there. Uh, again, this is all in the documentation, but we have this resource dictionary for app colors, which is just the default colors that are, you know, inside of your default.net Maui template and the styles, we saw that, but we're going to give this a little X name you can see that so we can reference those and this is actually set up pretty smart if you ask me so we have those this is just exactly the same but with the x names but i'm going to replace them like this you can see like it's it's almost the same right so um, we have this in place and then you can add this material style resource and it says colors override and you can say based on uh, this uh, styles right here. So this kind of like overrides only the things, but uses the colors that you might have already in place in those resource dictionaries that I just showed you. So you might have already customized this. This is a new .NET Maui project, but if you have an existing project with existing colors and that kind of stuff, you can override it very easily like this. If you don't do this, it will use a implemented style with Uranium UI green and all kinds of colors that are set up for you. Also very cool, but you're probably gonna want to customize this with your own colors in your own application. Now with this in place, let's see if the um, documentation tells us anything else. No optional, you can install this font library and um, now we should be good to go. So let's just see if this actually does anything for us already. So let's go in this Windows machine, let's deploy our application again. Now with the Uranium UI package installed, we have this new styles already set up. Um, let's see if we already notice kind of like a difference here. Uh, and it might not be very clear right off the bat, but we'll take it a little step further. You can see the background went gray, so maybe that's um, something. Otherwise, there's not much difference to see right now. Okay, so let's take it a step further. We're going to go to the main page and what we're going to do is also add that same namespace kind of here, uh, XML and S. Let's make it a little shorter. You are, you can make that name whatever you want, right? That's just the identifier that we're going to use. And then we're going to search for Uranium UI and let's take the material one. Okay, so actually you should be able to use that URL, right? So let's just take this one again, take the URL here. That's much, much nicer. Um, so we know we have everything. Okay, so we have that UR. Um, and I think what you actually need to do for that styling to also pick up is you need to actually use the Uranium control. So what we can do now is here have that UR and you can see all the controls in here. We have autocomplete text field. Pretty, pretty cool. A checkbox, a chip, uh, all these kinds of things. Let's go with a simple text field for now. So we have this simple text field and let's make that a title. So the property names are a little bit different than the property names of um, the default.NET MAUI temp, uh, uh, controls. So let's give this a title, please enter your value. Um, so let's have that. And let's put a UR checkbox in here, uh, which is also very cool. Do we do this a title? No, this is the text. So here we have this text. And maybe, maybe this checkbox can do something like, hey, have you subscribed to, oops, subscribe to my channel yet? 
If not, this is a nice um, time to do that. Go subscribe to my channel down below right now. Okay, so if we run this again, now, and this is on Windows, right? Material typically is implemented on Android, but now we're running on Windows and you can see um, this, you know, this text field looks like material. And if I click it, this is really cool. If I click it, if I focus it, you can see that it goes here to the top, becomes a little bit smaller and you don't lose that title thingy. So that is really cool. So you can see it nicely animates or two um, and I can put in my, my uh, value right there. So that's cool. Also this checkbox, very materially styled. Um, you can see it has this material style. It uses the colors that are already here, like this purple thing, right? Like if you do that, we can do this purple thing. Let's see if I can um, off script. You should never go off script, but let's see if I can remove Move that color override and see if that happens. Um, if I just, well, just, just only the colors, let's see if that does it. If we can get that Uranium UI green to show right here, um, how it would be out of the box. So you know that if it shows up, ah, see? So now it's all kind of like that green highlight and you can see it's the default implemented um, style from Uranium UI. But if you just plug in your colors right here, uh, there's probably some convention that you should use so the names get overridden correctly. Um, you will get your own colors right here. Now, if I switch this over to Android and I'm going to go into the next phase, right? here, um, then you can see this, of course, it's .NET MAUI. This is the power of .NET MAUI. It runs the same way on Android as well. And it has this consistent look of feel because we're using the material design across these two platforms. So it should look and feel the exact same. And the Android emulator is coming up. So we should see our deployed application in a second here. And you can already see I have a little Uranium UI icon right there because in the Uranium um, repository, Uranium UI repository, we also have this um, sample right here, which is the demo Uranium app. And I've deployed that to the uh, emulator as well. And it has like all the functionality that is available in the Uranium UI framework. So that's really cool. We're going to look at that so you get a taste for what is all in there. Um, so let's have a look. Oh, here's our application, which is deployed. And we have, please enter your value, right? That's still the same. And if I go in here, you can see that small um, little title thingy going on again. So if I get rid of the keyboard, my emulator is a little bit slow. Um, I can see if I can lose the focus again. If you lose the focus here, then it will go back, right? It's a little bit hard because I don't have much focusable controls right here. Uh, but you can see that it behaves and looks and feels the same as on Windows, right? So that is really, really cool. And this would be the same on iOS as well. So there you have it. Uh, now let's switch over to that Uranium UI uh, application actually. So let's stop running this one and I'm going to switch over to the app. I'm not going to build that from scratch. It's just deployed to my emulator. It's the exact same one that you can find on the repository. I close the repository and you can see uh, the deployed app right here. So we've got this and this text should be selectable. So this is already like on the homepage, boom, we've got this label with selectable text, which is really cool, right? This is something that you should be able to do on all the platforms as well. It's just a read only label, but you can also select it. Super cool, super small thing, but super cool that it's implemented. Um, we have this flyout menu and you can see all the features here. Expander view, you might also know that from the .NET Maui Community Toolkit. We have buttons, checkboxes, radio buttons, text field, editor fields, auto complete text field. You can, you know, there's all this kind of stuff here. So bottom sheet, which is really cool. I always love a good bottom sheet. And you can also see like the properties here. So if I click the is presented, um, you can see it's data bound, right? So it will just pop up from there. You can see, you can put a list in here, scrollable content. I can swipe it down again and it's gone. Um, I can click on this and it will come back up. So this is really amazing stuff. If you want to go a little step further, you totally can bottom sheet um, expanding and you can see that it can have this rich context. This is kind of like mimicking a um, um, audio file that's playing in the background. Tell it to my heart. Sounds like a great song um, and you can open it and you can, you know, you have this song cue and you can click on another thing. Um, and um, it will actually start playing that. This is just a demo, of course, it's not actually functional, but you can see the cool stuff that you can actually implement with this control suite. Um, so well, uh, what else do we do? A tab view, right? That's always cool. A customizable tab view, you can style the tabs any way you want, and it has that material look and feel uh, right out of the box as well. Um, you can also, of course, have them in your full screen down here, uh, which is really, really cool. The tree view, a lot of people have asked me for a tree view personally, I don't think a tree view belongs on a mobile device, but you know, 
it, I'm, I'm not here to build your app. If you want a tree view inside of your app, you can totally do this with this control suite. You can see this is mimicking a file system. You can expand things. You can add icons to it. Um, you can select them. So this is really, really cool stuff. Now, what else? What else? Um, even this this one blew my mind. This was really cool. It implements like Google autocomplete. I'm not sure if this is like a control or this just uses that autocomplete field that we just saw. But if you're going to look for Uranium UI, this is, oh, well, uh, Yuri Geller, Uri <laughs> and Uranol. Oh, oh my gosh, this is totally, okay, okay. Don't go off script. So it uh, autocompletes from Google, right? So it gets this uh, Google autocomplete values and you can uh, use that inside of your application, which is really, really cool. So as you can see, lots of cool stuff in here. And that is how to get started with Uranium UI. I already mentioned, like, if you see something that is triggering you, if you want to know more about a certain feature, the bottom sheet or the, the data grid, I didn't even show that one or the tree view, please let me know down in the comments and I'll see if I can make a follow up video on that one. But this is a pretty cool and extensive control suite. So please let me know your thoughts. Have you been using it already? Did you know about this? Um, just share it in the comments comments and I'll be responding there. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for another video. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so also in 2024. That's something that we still need to do. And check out this next video, which is recommended just for you. And I'll see you there. <laughs>